Hey guys, so if you want to know how to create realistic looking fur and go from this to this, then keep on watching the video. This video is going to be really helpful and really informative. So without any further ado, let's just jump right in. So to start off with, I'm using soft air brush and I'm using this gray color and I'm creating this circle. Instead of an animal, I'm just creating this circle just to show you guys how to create fur. If you have an animal on the canvas, just use their silhouette or shape to create the fur. And the reason why I am actually creating this as grayscale first is because I just want to have a good knowledge of the depth that I want to have for the individual for hair. Once you have that little shape ready with you, you want to pick up this darker shade of that gray and then you have to create the fur hair or hair strand and the shape of it. I hope this is making sense you guys. So at this point, you don't really have to be perfect about it. Just be really rough and create the shape for the fur hair. Also, if you want to create thinner hair strands, then create thinner hair strands. So it just depends on you. And as you guys can see here, I am really roughly just adding uh, dark shadows and just creating hair like strands or fur like strands onto the canvas. Now I just picked up this lighter gray shade. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this lighter shade just in between those darker um, shadows or darker lines of shadows that I have on the whole ball. And the reason why I'm doing this is just to create a form for the fur that I'm creating. So that's what you have to do. Again, you don't really have to be perfect about it yet. Just focus on creating a good form, a good structure for the fur hair. If you do want to create fine fur or thin fur, then make sure you are creating those shadows accordingly. But I think I like this much uh, thickness of the fur. Now, once you're happy, you want to pick up blending tool and I'm in the blending tool, I'm picking up soft air brush again. Now what I'm doing is I'm just going to clean up the whole thing that I have right here on the canvas. So I'm just going to go over all of the shadows that I have on the ball, as well as the highlight, the highlights that we created. Just clean it up from everywhere, wherever you see it looks messy just clean it up if you want to use a razor use a razor use blending tool and just clean it up just smoothen it out and we don't really have to worry about um, harsh looking shadows or harsh looking highlights just yet so just go ahead and blend those shadows and highlights as well just to clean it up just to make it look nice and clean now once you're happy with that pick up this darker shade of gray and just lock just create alpha lock on the layer where you created the dark looking shadows now what we are doing here we are actually creating uh, we are actually making those shadows even darker just make sure that you know the light source of your painting so that you can add this darker shade accordingly so as you guys can see the top of that a ball looks lighter as compared to the bottom of the ball so in this case in my case i have the light source coming from above that is why the lower part at the bottom part of the ball is darker as compared to the top part of the ball so just keep in mind the light source and just keep adding these dark looking shadows so after using the dark gray i actually used a black color just to add more and more depth so once you're done just group these layers and duplicate the group and hide the one that is underneath it now the reason why i am doing this is because we want to flatten the group we want to flatten the layers all together in one we do want to keep the layers we worked on so that if we mess up we can always go back so and create a new layer again and add clipping mask to that and just change the layer mode to color from normal to color because we are going to be using this layer to color the whole grayscale um, fireball so that's what you want to do right here and once you have that just pick up your color the color that you want to shade and I'm picking up this um, brownish color almost as the base color and then I have this darker brownish color which I am gonna shade at the bottom and then I have a lighter orange kind of color maybe brown just to shade it on the top 
off the whole fur belt now now in this step you do want to play around with the colors and it actually really depends on you what you like and what you don't like but still i'm just going to give you a rough idea of what i'm doing here as i'm going back and forth back and forth a lot in this clip so you might get confused i'm just going to give you a rough idea of it so basically what i'm doing is i'm just adding a darker brown color at the bottom of the fur ball and i already have a base um brown color on the whole fur ball then i created and added this lighter looking color at the top of the fur ball now once you're happy with that result what you want to do is you want to create a new layer and you want to change the layer mode to add and you want to pick up the softer brush and you have to add little highlights um, over each and every first strands and yeah that is it that is done you are done with the whole for a tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this mini tutorial and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up also if you do create something out of my tutorials tag me on instagram i actually go through each and every one of you and i really love it and really appreciate it so other than that give this video a big thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me and yeah i will see you guys the next time